Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Circuit's Edge. Let's try and follow up on the clues. We're currently um, on our main case, the murder of Kenji Carter. We're trying to find his daughter Tamara, who I believe is now a dancer named Arissa. Um, I've also been given the quest of the Star Sapphire, or the case of the Star Sapphire, which I have to find um, in order to get a Japanese language chip. Now, um, that has two threads. I need to find Manny or Marco, um, and I'm stuck on both of those. With um, Marco, I need to get a password for the police computer, and Manny, I'm not having any luck finding him. So, let's go quiz people. Um, see what we can find. Um, have a look that way. Look, 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 look. Dances on both sides. Okay. Um, Arissa, look, I know, I know, I know about you. Ah. Ah. Anyway, I'll work that out. No, I don't want to go there. Let's see if any of the guys are in Café de la Fille. Said, my man. Do you know Marco? It says Ask Shiri. Do you know Alejandro? Do you know Manny? Um, okay. Let's talk to Jacques. Do you know Marco? Manny? Fried told me about getting beaten up by some thug who worked for a loan shark. Don't you remember the guy's name though, I'm sure Fried would never forget. Okay. Do you know Dixon? Talk to No, not Mahmoud. Do you know Marco? Do you know Alejandro? Aha, Alejandro Herrera works worked for Abu Salah, the rug merchant. Okay. Do you know Manny? So Fuad might know Marco. Did I talk to Jacques? Yes, I did. Sharp threads there, man. Uh, do you know Arissa? Nope. Okay, so let's go talk to Persian rugs guy. It was around here somewhere. Or was it? No, it was around here somewhere. Salam Abu Salah. You have a nice shop. Do you know Alejandro? Name sounds familiar, but I don't know. What? What? Ugh, always with the dead ends. So what and who is in Melul's uh, food place? Okay. Now, I had an idea that I should go to the Hotel Del Palazzo. And talk to the clerk. He, if I recall, knows about Dixon. Mr. Dixon does have a room here, sir, but I can tell you what's in right now. I believe he went into the Buddy Inn where he said there were special amusements to be found. Can you take me up? Uh, okay, maybe. Can I bribe him? I want to give you 50 Kayam. Now, can you tell me about Dixon? Ugh. Maybe if I give him 100 Kayam. Can you tell me about Dixon? Can you give me a key? Okay, I just wasted 150 Kayam. Fantastic. Oh, I'm not going to need that. Hmm. 
Okay, Bo, back to town. Back to town. Okay, now we need to go to the Bodhiyan Hotel. Perhaps there is someone there. Was the Bodhiyan Hotel is not 10. That's 8, 9, 10. Okay. Greetings, how are you? You're looking good. You look prosperous and well. You know Marco. Oh. Do you know Manny? Do you know Alejandro? Do you know Dixon? A Mac Dixon stayed here early. He had a young woman with him, but Mr. Dixon was not satisfied with our accommodation. He said only a few hours, even though he had paid for the whole night. Uh, yes, he also had a package delivered to his room while he was here. What can you tell about the package? Package? I don't know of any package. Okay, so that doesn't look helpful. Surely I cannot allow you to investigate the room he rented. I could lose my job and I'm too poor to afford that. Oh, I can bribe this guy. Except I don't have any money. So why don't you guys just look the other way quickly. And I suddenly have money! Yay, happy times. Okay. Um, tell me about Dixon. Tell me about the package. Tell me about the room. Ah, uh -huh, now if I give you 50 Kayam. Smile in the clock tells you Dixon's room number and you go upstairs to check it out. With the exception of a half-empty bourbon bottle, it is your ordinary sleazy hotel room. Seeing nothing else of interest, you go back down to the lobby. Okay, so he was here. And now he's not. What can you tell me about the woman he was with? Okay, hold on. I found this cool thing. Recall events. More. And he had a young woman with him. Okay. You think you better get yourself a horse? The Scarlet Orchid. New kinds of rare and exotic plants are available here. Yeah, it's like a miniature jungle with potted palms and banana plants. Stretching up toward the ceiling and sprawling ferns and flowering shrubs hemming in the narrow paths from the entrance to the county in the back. In the very center of the shop is the proprietor's prize redbud tree. Um, I'd like to buy something an orchid, a rose, a fern, or a snapdragon. No, thank you. Do you know Marco? Do you know Manny? Do you know Alejandro? Do you know. Excellent. Okay, once again at a dead end. What is Martyrs of Democracy? This restaurant serves a combination of Cantonese, Sejuan, Hunan, Hunan and Mandarin dishes, all extremely well prepared. The dining itself is not remarkable decorated in a conventional Chinese style with lanterns hanging from the light fixtures and carved wooden ideograms on the wall. A plate of food seems to stare back at you. Okay, I can buy food in 13th. Okay, so I'm stuck. So I think it's time to turn to some illicit information. So I'm going to check that out and when I come back, um, we will hopefully have some way to go. Okay, I'm back and I have some clues on Manny. Um, let me just double check them. Um, Manny is in the Silver Palm, which is... It's North 5. North 5? Really? Where are we now? 14th. Silver Palm. If I talk to
to Heidi because she used to be Manny's boyfriend. Of course I know Manny, she says. I used to date him for a while. Nothing much, just a thug who worked for Guido. But I loved his eyes. That's a strange and natural blue. He used to have a room at the Sierra Hotel. Now, apparently that is a clue to go to the eyes of Texas. Which are... Which is... Come on. The eyes of Texas. Where is... Oh, there we go. North 1. Now, I don't see how that's a clue. But what do I know? I'm just a poor guy. Jewels of Morocco. The eyes of Texas. Um... This is one of the many artificial eye stores operated by a corporation headquartered in the independent republic of Nuevo Tejas. Tejas. Here you can replace your original equipment with mechanical eyes whose superior performance also provides a wide range of special features. Ah, blue eyes. His shop's motto is, come to Dr. C and C. You hate it, but you can't avoid his ads on late night television. Nobody knows what his real name is and nobody cares. You're a shrewd merchant. Do you know Marco? No. Do you know Manny? Manny bought custom eyes, the doctor says. He also hinted at owning a chip from photogra for photographic recall. The doctor figures Manny was setting up for a card counting scheme. Okay. Then, that would mean he's in a gambling place. Now, where do you gamble? I know there's a place, I just can't remember what it's called. The Gambling Den, South 4. Ah, oh, it's so good to be actually moving forward. Uh, Laila's The Gambling Den. There's atmosphere of tense excitement in the room. Well-dressed gamblers of all sexes bend over craps layouts, roulette wheels, and card games. The exclamations of the men and the high-pitched laughter of the women cut through the thick, smoky air. The lure of winning money makes you eager to try your luck. Karim. Karim is a tall, cadaverous, and bearded man who runs the only gambling den in the Buddy Inn. Ooh, I can play games. Why don't you try roulette? Oh wow, there's a whole game in here. Hmm. Let's select chip. Let's try R. Position chip and press space. And Okay, P for play round. Going. Keep going. Yes. I won 10 Kayam. Okay. Um, cool. Quit. Yes. Let's talk to Karim about Baccarat. Now, I don't know Baccarat. So I'm just going to quit. I don't know back right. So Karim, do you know what happened to Manny? Manny, Karim spits the name with disgust. That filthy beggar. He's not allowed in here anymore. Not after we caught him cheating. Now I don't remember very much about him except that he cheats. That there was this girl he used to come in with. Some dancer girl with red hair and green eyes. Okay, red hair and green eyes. Very interesting. Let's go back to Shiri's.